In Bryan versus Itasca County, we'll see how a dispute over a $147 tax bill turned into a landmark Supreme Court case that determined whether states have the authority to impose taxes on Indians living on reservations. In 1953, Congress enacted Public Law 280. This law gave select states, including Minnesota, criminal jurisdiction as well as limited civil jurisdiction over reservation Indians. The term reservation Indian applies to any enrolled member of a tribe who lives exclusively on his or her tribe's reservation. Russell Bryan, an enrolled member of the Minnesota Chippewa tribe, was a reservation Indian. Bryan and his wife lived in a mobile home on Greater Leech Lake Indian Reservation in Itasca County, Minnesota. In June of 1972, Itasca County notified Bryan that he owed $147.95 personal property tax on his mobile home located on the reservation. Bryan sued the county, seeking declaratory and injunctive relief from the tax. Bryan claimed that federal law preempted the county and the state of Minnesota from imposing a tax on reservation Indians' personal property located on reservations. The trial court rejected Bryan's claims and upheld the tax. Bryan appealed. The Minnesota Supreme Court affirmed the trial court's holding and held that Public Law 280 gave states the power to tax reservation Indians. The court held that Bryan didn't properly raise the claim that his mobile home was annexed to the reservation land, which would have made Bryan's mobile home real property. Instead, the Minnesota Supreme Court held that Bryan's mobile home was personal property that was taxable under Minnesota law. Bryan appealed, and the United States Supreme Court granted cert.